Hello, hello, it's me, Phil, though. And today, as I've said, we are going to go ahead and go to this unknown tower, which houses the uh, Black Dragon Ninjas. I think they are the Black Dragon ones. They are ninjas, anyhow. Uh, but before that, I just wanted to go up here and have a look and see that this guy, the Dust King, is here, and I've never checked this, but imprisonment slash sentence time is infinite. It's forever. And I do not understand why these uh, <laughs> starving bandits just attack the second they're released. But that's just how it goes, I guess. Uh, but we are just gonna run all the way over here again. And after this bounty is done, so next on the chopping block would be better equipment, I think. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm never gonna run hash through the town, don't you worry, mate. Don't you worry, brav. That is not my stats, thank you. That's a mechanic I just realized. So before, when I started playing Kenji, I really did not like... So since skeletons are my favorite race, I hated that their uh, body slowly deteriorate, deteriorated. Like their quote-unquote the rust thing. Or that when you're in combat, the more they fight, the lesser their maximum health becomes. Uh, it didn't take long before I was like, you know, actually that makes a lot of sense. I like it. That's actually quite, kind of cool. I just now realized because, oh my god, I'm gonna s yawn again. Ah. God damn it. Um, I just now thought about it because I could see that my limbs are... Well, I mean, they're still very much fine. It doesn't matter. But it's still a thing I like. Um, I'm yet, I've yet to use splint kit. I don't even know if you can splint robotic limbs. I'm willing to try. Like, just damage myself. The pathfinding is, um, as immaculate as ever. The one thing I am looking the most forward to in Kenshi 2. I don't care about the game looking better. What I want is less crashes, less, less, less loading, and less wonk ass pathfinding. But, I mean, the game is still brilliant. I. Kenshi will just forever. What the hell? <laughs> what was that? It will forever be one of the most interesting games I have ever put hours into. Speaking of, I am at about 400 hours, so I'm not... It's not like I'm a veteran or anything. I picked this game up, like... Two years ago, I think? No, I bought it way before that, but I put 30 minutes into it, didn't understand jack shit, and left. And then didn't return until it got really, really popular by a lot of uh, YouTubers, and then, you know, the rest is history. I think that's how you use that anyway. <laughs> the rest is uh, right now, that's what it is. Um, yeah, no stat increases. Hey, Athletic is 80. I think that happened last episode. Anyway. Um... I'm not going to build a base or anything on this character, so we're not going to sit through that. I have done that once before in a solo Iron Man. I died after building my base and I got raided and that was not fun. As I said, it's it's a solo Iron Man, so if they get if you die, you're dead. That is how that works. So, this is the peoples. What are you guys' stats? Oh my god. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm attacking you. 
Because uh, you are... Come on, man. Fight me. I was hoping that you other people didn't see that. Why? Why is my character targeting the wrong person? Okay, so you're done. I just want to see what you guys are packing. Bread. So you have what? Yeah. I mean... Yeah. So this is what I wanted. That's mine now. The Ninja Blade. From... Dimac. I guess. So their stats were. Oh, they had. Wait, no, that's my stats. Yeah, they're about 50 in every stat. I hit her head twice. I'm gonna first aid you for a bit. How is. Because your bounty is less. And it's only from the Holy Nation, so fuck that, I guess. One damage. Like, their weapons have no armor pen. I do not know how they did that much damage to one limb. Okay, I need to run for a bit. I hope you guys don't mind me running. Thank you, thank you. I just want to fix up that arm before it gets worse. Okay. Here we go again. Ah, yes, of course. Target the fucker that's on the ground. I mean, I did cl click him, so... But these guys have a lot higher stats than... At, at least attack stats than the basic... People from... Uh, basic Dust Bandits. There are a lot less of them, at least outside. It might explode when I go inside, I do not remember. I kind of don't want to know how we're looking on damage. One down. He lost a leg too. And he's right back up again. Guess he's training toughness. Another one down. I hate the black dragon ninjas with a fucking passion. They are by far the most annoying raid enemy in the game. Uh, the most annoying uh, tax you have to pay is definitely the, the Shex food tax. Okay, before you go in, please don't. Oh, that's by far not even a problem, dude. You did no damage to me, what the hell, people? Come on, man. Fight me. There might be one more person in here with a better weapon. I, if I remember correctly. Oh, and this is also a scenario where the... This is probably stronger inside than this is. So I guess we'll try it out. Oh yes, brilliant, dude. So good. <laughs> I'm just a bit scared of their bleed, though. Okay, it's just a 1... 10% extra bleed. Which is why I really want to fight Tengu. I want to get his katana. Wow, really? It's empty already? Oh, no, there we are. So how are we looking? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On these guys, it's really good. These guys have no armor, you know, so... Yeah, yeah, just limp upstairs. It's fine. I just want to see if you have anything good in this. Reflitted, fitted, fit, fit, oh god damn it, refitted blade. Do we have much up here? Maybe. Let's see. Well, I mean, that guy's. Why is my character so wonk? Self preservation. From what? There's nothing here. The katanas attack so fast, which is incredibly good. Like, that is what makes them strong. Have you? Oh. Oh no, poor guy. 
I'm so, I really feel bad for that, to be honest. I do not know why my character wants to run out that way. Is he trying to get that guy? He might. How did I fail in 90% check? Come on, man. Oh, ah, come on. Well, at least you have some grog. That's good stuff. I'll take the food as well. I don't care for the rum. I'll take that. Uh, sure, that's 2,000, so... That's a fish. Water. Another research book. Grog is, is nice, nice, nice. What do we have up here? Do we have a prisoner? We do not. Standard first aid kit. I do want that, though. Oh, goodness me. There we go. And last three people up here, though I'm not damaged at all. I was expecting this to be more dangerous. I mean, it kind of is, now that we're looking at these fuckers shooting me with a crossbow. Okay, do you mind? There we go. Okay, those crossbows did the most damage. That was really easy. Hmm. Now what? Got another mate to weapon for the collection, so I guess I'm gonna deposit that. Though I do not remember where any other easy to get May 2 weapons are. Because this went way, way faster than expected. Um, so what is our faction relations now? The check is at plus one. Let's go. Um, the southern hive is 50% angry. That's to be expected. Starving bandits still at neutral, which is interesting. And the Black Dragon, yeah, Blood Raiders. I really want to fight the Blood Raiders. They are a bit dangerous, though. What is up with this molasses fucking walk, dude? Move your feetsies. Doing a save. I think I'm gonna say that every single time I click save. Uh, that is a camp of dust bandits, I would believe. So let's go over there and say hi. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna start doing that instead using one of these guys. So where are ya? Oh my, what in the hell? I might need to restart something, because... Okay, now... whole oh, Balls! That's a lot of them! Holy shit! Okay, I mean, I should be fine, but that was a lot more than I expected. Like, these guys are... Yeah, just 15-ish on levels. Still a lot of people. And that's a lot of crossbowmen. Forty-eight at the fence, though. You level uh, slower when fighting people that are uh, well bad. <laughs> I did use a mod before, which was like weaklings give XP. I think it is, which makes you able to pretty much level to like fifty-ish easily on just dust bandits alone. I did zero damage. What the hell? No, probably not me. Probably a crossbow. Did that Hiver get hit in the crossfire of that swing I did? Maybe. Yeah, these guys are now pushovers. I'm just clearing them out. Let's speed up a bit. Yeah, there's a lot of ones. That was a five. Wow. How did you miss? What is this buffoonery? Come on, man. Okay, 
those guys can just really you have well no head left hey I cleared the dust in the camp hackers still the same level as it was oh my goodness I'm so sorry dude I'm trying to make this quick, but you're running away from me. There we go. Perfect, perfect, man. Yeah, man. Let's go. I really like the starting area of Kenshi. This place right here, the border zone. Where's this, the border zone? Ah, oh, whatever. I like this area right here. A lot, actually. It's one of my favorite, like, starting areas of games. If I see slave mongers, I'm attacking them this time. I have no reason not to. Oh, I love that. Whoa, when the bridge doesn't work. Oh, and if you're wondering, this area is from a mod. It is the... Adventurer's Recruitment mod or something like that. It just basically gives you an adventurer's guild full of people to recruit. It's expensive, but it beats running around trying to find people to recruit. Like if you want a bunch of hivers, you can go to them, say, "Hey, I need a high, I need hivers, mate." Well, say, "Okay, sure. Give me ten thousand, and I'll group up some hivers for you, and send them, deliver them to your base. So you need to have a base for that to work. But the mod itself also brings additional recruitable NPCs to." Towns. Um, in general, there are just more of them. But here we are, back home. I still. Oh, I <laughs> oh my chair is fucked. Oi, chair. Anti fuck yourself, will you? Thank you. Um, I really, really, really want to use the Fallen Sun. It is just so cool. But I'm not gonna... I'm gonna stay away from the temptation. I think. Um, put this away. And this. But I kind of want to use this, though. The Nodachi is really strong. Though I'm running a strength build, so that doesn't really do much. The attack speed is really high, though. Um, I'm gonna sell the... Grog if I can. You have 25k, so... Yep. Yeah. I mean, I, st I have more than enough money. Also, this was pretty quick, so I guess... Ah, fuck it. I mean, the main part of the video has ended, but I just don't know what bounty to take on next. So I'm gonna go ahead and sprint over there to make some money. Um, not make some money, I'm gonna use money. I have 146,000 right now. Which is uh, quite a bit, actually, in Kenshi terms. That's a lot of money. Uh, how can I make this look better? My not actually existing OCD is uh, doing the thing. Eh, doesn't matter. Ooh, my shoulder made a crackly sound. There we go. Nyom. I do also want to, s I still am on the look for a better mask, though, or just a better wep, what? Helmet, in general. I might just go for a metal helmet of some kind. But I don't know. I really like the fog mask, just the look of it.
You're running that way. That's that's an interesting proposition for you. Will you just run down the mountain, or will you get stuck up here or try to run back down again? And the prediction says uh, I was wrong. Wow, there was actually a way here. Would you look at that? Oh yeah, now that I have removed all my limbs, uh, leveling the good old uh, martial arts to about 80 and dex to 90 is actually quite simple. Just get two of the shoddy or prototype, the one that's worse, limbs uh, for your arms. And then again, put Catlon in a repair bed and just punch him, you will power level dexterity something insane, and thus also martial arts. Um, and the best way to level up dodge, one of them at least, is to unequip your weapon, lay yourself in a repair bed, which, as you could guess, only works with skeletons, and have Catlon attack you with a weak weapon. Um... And also, as I have said before, we're removing the mask. So if I get hit in the face by a spider in here, I might just fall over dead. Uh, these skeletons that are in here, what are your stats? Well, not too bad, actually. And with my weapon, it would be very easy to take you out. 50% robo damage. Which is the only reason the Holy Nation is scary for a skeleton, is that 50% robotic damage. That is the only reason it's scary. Now, I also might... Well, I, I won't need money, but I want to check it anyway. Nyum. Sneak. There's no reason not to check this chest. Um, so let's see here. Specialist, specialist. That's a lot. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of masterwork. Uh, I mean, I'll take them. Yeah. Just make some more optimized room, I'm guessing. I think that's good, though. This one should also be lock pickable from this side. I could actually just equip this thieves arm now if I want to speed this up a bit. Though I kind of don't want it. Because. Let's see how many percentages is it per. It's not that much. Fine. So thieves arms are really nice. And with this mod that fixes the orientation, it also turns it into looking like a industrial lifter arm. Doing this will give me a dex bonus of 20%, which is really strong. Together with the lockpick and thievery. The lockpick is fine, the thievery is not. What the fuck is happening here, though? Really? Thank you. I mean, I'll keep it on, I guess. Oh, come on, man. Really? Everything specialist grade? Take that too, I guess. Industrial lifter. Pop. You can also keep arms and legs on you to auto repair whenever you're getting damaged. But we'll not do that. Uh, I want to check your shop still. In case you have one mass work stealth lag. Yeah, so you have one mass work stealth lag. For what, 18k? I mean, I'm buying it. If I am able to put it somewhere, yes I am. Like so. I'll sell back this specialist. No room. Oh, fuck off. It, the athletics bonus is just 1% higher, which doesn't matter much. 
It's just the absolute amount of health is really nice. And then take a trip over to the other place. Like so. Please, I'm begging you, have edge one, two, or three quality uh, Paladin's Cross. Please, please. Okay, what are we looking at here? Paladin's Cross, Mark 1, same as I already have. Boom. Mark 2, not gonna buy that. Mark 3, Mark 3. Come on, is that it? Again? You're gonna stop at Mark 3 again. God damn it, dude. Really? Also, it's annoying that this is specialist grade and this is also specialist. Why aren't they masterwork? Whatever. But god damn it, why? Come on, man. They have Mark 3, Mark 2, and Mark 1. It's 1. 1.6 from. That's not worth it, though. Okay, so how are we looking on secondaries then? Not longsword, let's see. Edge 2 Ninja Blade, that's not happening. I already have the May 2 version. Edge 1 Guardless, Edge 2 Normal. I do prefer the Normal Katana over the Guardless. The damage difference is minimal. Because it's only the attack bonus, really. It's just that the Ninja Blade has an has a uh, lower attack bonus than the defense bonus negative. So Wakasashi is pretty fine. It's just short. But oh wow, okay, it's a fifty percent chance to do that. But ugh, god damn it. Okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna do. Not that. Should I? Would I? Could I? I'm already cheesing the fuck out of this anyway. Okay, let's just do it. I'm gonna try one more time. I'm gonna go ahead and import the save game. Crossing my fingers that this gives me a better fucking paladin's cross. So I'll see you in a bit. I may as well do it from this point again. When you click import now. As I have already stated, remember to import the dead NPCs this time. If not, the Dust King and the Black Dragon Ninjas will respawn. These are the same stats as they were. Which I don't want. I don't want them to respawn! Damn it. I thought I would be able to. It, it, it must be something in the fucking recording buttons I'm using because every single time I start recording the yawn creeps in oh well show me what you got a cartoon 2 edge 2 yeah boy okay so at least have a new weapon please just if there is an edge 3 here I'll be very happy mark 3 and mark 2 MK2 again. Oh, it's an <laughs> Edge 3. Yeah, that's fine. I'll, I'll fucking take it. That's a melee. Am I Wait, what? Did I really. Yeah, no, I did look at this one. Edge 2. Cost 30,000. Boom. Pow. Amazing. It weighs 24 kilos. Oof. The Desert Saber, though. It, just, it does not do a lot of blunt. Which this does do a lot of blunt. How does that look on the back? <laughs> it is such a weird weapon. But hey, we got it. Finally. Why has her feet not melted off? Well, because I... I I have robo legs, dumbass. And don't talk about hacksaws and my feet, thank you very much. Whoop, I always zoom in too much. Let's just um, 
say thank you for watching at this point. Maybe I should have this on the thumbnail this time. Nah. Doesn't really matter, but... My CPU is fine, thank you very much. I bet it is. See you guys next time.